Welcome. I'm throwing in a bit of a more advanced black and white tutorial in here. Uh, as part of the creativity challenge, you guys, I've encouraged you to get out there and just uh, convert one to black and white or use the camera mode and use the live filter to shoot black and white. For those of you that are a bit further ahead or you just want to take it to the next level, I want to show you an editing tip for converting a image to black and white using Lightroom and then a really cool feature where you can go and change the sky black. Now that's one thing that it took me a long time to work it out because I actually couldn't find anything on YouTube or uh, Skillshare. So I, I worked it out myself. So it took me a while to work it out. So I'm really happy to share this one with you. So this is just a photo I captured yesterday out in my backyard, bright blue sky. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a black and white. I'll show you that. So we go into the colors tab. So colors. And up the top there, you can see there BMW, black and white. Tap on that. So what that's done is that's basically just desaturated all the colors, removed all the colors. Really simple, quite easy. There are other ways you can do it, but that is the easy way to do it. What I want you to do now is go up into the color wheel up on the top. So we're going to tap on that. And then even though this image is now a black and white, it remembers all the color values, all the color information from the original photo. So what we can do is we can go in there and, and experiment and play around with these individual colors and luminance is brightness. So I can go into uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and all these, and I can make it darker or, or, or lighter. So you can see where I'm going with this. So if I go to the blue, I can go and make the blue dark. How cool is that? But I wanna show you something that's even cooler, so I'll bring that back, okay? Up the top there, you've got a target icon. So I'm gonna tap on that, okay? And now with my finger, I can tap somewhere on the sky. And you can see where I tap it, it tells me what that color information is. So you can see there, that's on top of the flower. That's on top of the foliage. I've got some, some green. But I want to go back over to the sky here where it was blue. And then swipe down. While my finger's on the screen, swipe down. And how cool is that? So now, to make it a bit more contrasty, I might tap on like uh, the... Uh, the flowers there and I'm going to swipe up and I'm going to make those flowers a bit brighter, make it stand out more. Really cool, isn't it? Okay, so if I bring up another image here, this one here, okay, uh, it has blue, it's not as dramatic blue, but if I go to tap, tap there, tap on the blue sky, it's still blue, it's more, it's got more of the light blue, the aqua there, but if I swipe, whoops, ha ha ha, what did I do? I didn't change it to black and white first. So I tap on that, go done, black and white. Now it will work. <laughs> All right, got my target. Okay, bang, just like that. So it's a bit too dark. Oh, why not? We'll go with that. Okay, and then and re remembering where there was some orange, I'm going to tap there where there was orange, and I'm going to make that brighter. So there's a bit of contrast. Okay, perfect. And you can do this with any any photo. So to, to finish it, tap on the target again. And done, okay. And what else we got here? Yep. So that's converted to a black and white. Okay, black and white. Color wheel, and I can just choose the green. I don't have to use the target icon. I can just choose green, and I can make the green brighter or darker. So you can see there, it's gone blotchy if you do things to the extreme. So just uh, yeah, have a bit of fun with that. Mm -hmm.